Huenda watu wanaoishi na virusi vya ukimwi nchini wakapata afueni ya kunywa dawa kila siku na badala yake kudungwa sindano itakayo kuwa na nguvu zaidi. Hii ni endapo majaribio yanayoendelea nchini ya tafaulu. Taasisi tatu za kimatibabu nchini kwa sasa zinafanya majaribio hayo kabla ya kutolewa rasmi kwa wanaoishi na virusi hivi. Brenda Wanga anaarifu. Benta amekuwa akiishi na virusi vya HIV kwa miaka na moja sasa. Amepigana na unyanyapaa na ubaguzi aliokumbana nao baada ya kupatikana na virusi hivi ila sasa amekuwa mwanaharakati. <laughs> Kufikia kwake hapa kumemlazimu kujitolea katika kuhakikisha anatumia kwa wakati na maelezo yake dawa za kupunguza makali ya virusi za ARVs. When I started taking medication, I was taking nine. I was taking like uh, three in the morning, three in the evening, and I was also, also taking septrin. I was also taking another combination of a drug. Benta anakiri kuwa kunywa dawa hizi kila siku bila kukosa si rahisi. Kwa maana harakati huyu, hii ndiyo moja wapo ya sababu ya wengi kushindwa kuhimili matumizi yake. <laughs> Hata hivyo huenda haya yakabadilika. Kenya ikiwa moja wapo ya mataifa matatu barani Afrika yanayofanya majaribio ambayo huenda yakaafiki matumizi ya dawa hizi kwa njia ya sindano. <laughs> Professor Rin Shah ni mtafiti mkuu katika hospitali ya chuo kikuu cha Aga Khan. What it is it's an injection that replaces the tablets. Um, this injection is being used in in the US and and, and, and Europe um, as as prescriptions. It's not part of a trial. But these studies haven't been done in Africa. We're bringing the trials to Africa so that we can use it on our patients to show that they also work in our patients. Mchanganyiko wa dawa mbili za HIV uliidhinishwa na shirika la afya duniani WHO mwaka 2020 ili kutumika kwa njia ya sindano kila baada ya miezi miwili. For antiretrovirals and HIV the only thing we've had so far is tablets. So this is another treatment option. It's not better than the tablets. But it's another treatment option so that you can take an injection and then forget to then not take any tablets for two months. So it's a treatment option for people who are busy. Majaribio katika hospitali ya Gakan tayari yameanza. Mgonjwa wa kwanza akidungwa sindano hiyo juma lililopita. Jumla ya watu 40 wanatarajiwa kushiriki majaribio haya. The injectables we believe will improve your adherence. So your 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 outlook, your long-term HIV management becomes very good and very easy. Na huku hatua hii ikiwa yenye matumaini kwa sekta ya afya, jukumu sasa litasalia kuwashawishi watu kama Benta kuacha kutumia vidonge na sasa kugeukia sindano. Taking me from what the drug I've been taking for quite a long time to an injection. I wouldn't be so sure whether it will work the way the drug has worked. Brenda Wanga, Runinga, Yes Citizen.